the streets of Wellington today and I asked this. Two flags here. Which one is the um, New Zealand flag, top or bottom? Uh, obviously the bottom one. That's the one? Top one. It's the bottom one. No, that's the Australian flag. Oh, is it? Shows what I know. That's the New Zealand flag. Oh, bottom. It's the bottom. Bottom. Easy. Easy. Should we change it? No. Oh, not really, no. Oh, I don't really care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. Not worried. I think we should have a flag that is less about us being a European colony and more about us being something more... I know, aspirational. Not particularly. I don't see the reason in it. Oh, I think the old one's good. Don't change it. I mean, I heard it's going to cost like a million dollars or something. 26 million. Ooh, I didn't know it was going to cost that much. I guess us as a nation, we need to look, you know, and be our own nation and not be confused with other ones. Nah, I should spend it on people that need it, on children, on families. Is it a bit too British, you know, Union Jack there? Is that us anymore? Well, I suppose it'd be good if it had something Māori on it, I suppose because, you know, Māori's and uh, Europeans mix here, so both, bit of both. Don't mind the Union Jack with something Māori, probably, you know, because most of us are half caste. Very, very true, very, very true. It was actually very, it was actually really interesting. A lot of people uh, had a lot of things to say about the flag, and there was a real range of uh, uh, emotions there about the flag on... Cuba Street. I'm going to go to Damien first, though. Yeah, well, I was going to say, if you ask people in this pub tonight, probably say, like, who thinks we should have the Hurricanes flag? Yeah, there we go. You know. <laughs> What's that? You wouldn't think there's a final on this weekend? You're the only one dressed for it, Fred. Well, stadium is, stadium is too small, you know. There we go. What about, let's see, um, hello there, how are you? Yeah, I've got a mouthful of food. How's that going? Should I just talk to myself for a second? Do you nod? Do you think we should have a new flag or no? You do think? Yep. What would you like to see? What sort of elements? Just come up on the spot right now. Anything that's not the Union Jack? Any, that's pretty broad. Yep. You're happy with anything, a red Ferrari with maybe like a sort of bikini model draped on it with a panther. That would be okay? Anything would be better than what it is. Okay, good to know. Right, uh, what about over here? Hello, sir. How are you? You just look like you've got, you know, a sensible man, good ideas. New, Ze New Zealand flag, new or old? Uh, old. So even if I tempted you with a tomato sauce bottle with a kiwi beak on it, that doesn't tempt you with a, you know, new flag? You'd have to go a bit further than that. What about a red Ferrari? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> How about this table? They look like incredibly sensible people down here. Hello. Very wise. Would you like to see a new New Zealand flag? Oh, goodness. Yes, I think I would. Would you like to say, brought to you on behalf of New Zealand On Air, helping New Zealanders... <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, of course. This is the New Zealand on air table, in case you're not right. What, what would you like to see in the new flag? Oh, I think I'd like to see something that represents New Zealand, and you know, I like my fellow table over there. I don't think we need the Union Jack on it. A, a tomato sauce bottle with a kiwi. You know, absolutely. It's a start, right? It's a start. Thank you very much, Wallace. It's quite interesting because I waver where I think I should be. Uh, sometimes I think, listen, why bother? And there has not been a lot of interest around the country in the referendum. I've got to say, you're on the Flag Consideration Committee, Peter. People aren't that interested, are they? Well, I, I was on this, the um, multi-party committee that set up the process. I'm not on the Flag Consideration Committee. I thought you were. No, no, no. Okay. So you agree with changing the flag? I, look, as an Irish Republican, I'm strongly in favour of getting rid of the Union Jack, full stop. All oh, right, and, okay. having, and having a flag that far more speaks what about New Zealand. What are you drinking? Zealand. I'm drinking Guinness. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about you, Carmel? I mean, is, is this... I know that you're going to say that it's got a legacy for John Key, but really, we've got to change it sometime. Why not now? Because um, no one's walking through my electorate office door saying the biggest issue affecting me right now is the flag. Um, so the issues they're coming with, to me with are nothing to do with the flag. And actually, there's more pressing issues at stake. And actually, most New Zealanders don't agree with the fact we're spending $27 million on this vanity project for John Key. So I think that's the issue. It won't... It won't be a vanity project when we at last get rid of the sort of uh, on trails of colonialism uh, and have something unique indigenous to us as that person there, so something maybe Māori or something like that. Yeah, but you but won't be complaining then. But before people were asked um, what design they wanted, they should have been asked whether or not they wanted to change the flag, and the government couldn't even bring themselves to ask that one question first. All right, what about you, Sarah, uh, National MP Ember Cargill? Why is this happening? Can I just Why? come back to your first question, yeah. that nobody's interested in the flag? 52 people showed up to the meeting in Ember Cargill. That's a big <laughs> night out. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of interest. Okay, all it's right. It's fantastic. So is, is this legacy building 
for John Key? No, look, it's a fantastic opportunity to have a discussion about what symbols represent us moving forward in the 21st century. And as for too much money, look, this is a government that's been pragmatic in its budget of 2015. We're the first government to raise benefits in over oh, 43 years. Oh, let's forget about all that. Let's, so, let's, just stick to, let's just stick to the topic. You can't say it. Let's democracy just... costs. Well, it cost $27 million. There was that uh, gentleman on the street there, a homeless man. He, he, he said, you know what? $26 million, that could be put toward the children or the families. That's what he said. Well, look, so you, what, send, you send him to me. You, send him to me because I'm a fantastic constituent MP and I'll help him out and I'll make sure that he's getting the right benefits that he's entitled to. How's that? Um, All right, Gareth Hughes. Well, I, I thought that guy was uh, an inspirational legend. He put the nail on, banged the nail on the top of the head, which is it's about kids and family. And look, I don't like our flag. It's an old colonial relic. But I think we've got more important priorities. I think Kiwis so aren't particularly fussed. There were 13 people in Auckland, I understand. Our biggest uh, city, 13 people turned out. That's but, but, ridiculous. But, but <laughs> we, we say that we're a proud country. We need uh, a symbol to identify with that. We, th th this, is, this is way gone, isn't it? Oh, and so, I when's, so when's the right time? If now's not the right time, when is the right time? Well, I believe people see through it. It's simply a distraction, and we should be changing the flag. A distraction from what? A distraction from, from what? all the other agenda the government's doing. We should be changing the flag when we're changing the anthem, when we're embracing the treaty, when we're actually star looking after kids, when we can feel proud about our country. And I agree with Peter. Let's change the monarchy. And, and I, I, agree with, I agree with that, but this is a start towards that process. And we should actually be confident in our ability as a country to decide what our flag is, what our what our nature of our constitutional arrangements are. I think we should be moving to a written constitution and an elected president in the governor general type model and getting rid of our colonial trappings. Doesn't mean we get rid of our heritage, but it means we actually stand up for who we are and make a statement about New Zealand in 2015 and beyond and about the country we want it to be. While we carry on with the colonial cringe, we will always look like a backwater. But that's the thing, we're changing a bit of fabric when we should be changing the substance. Okay, Damien, a couple of thoughts from the audience again from you. This gentleman here, you've been, uh, you've been sort of narrowing your eyes, you don't look too impressed with what you're hearing. New flag, no new flag? Uh, nah, no new flag, man. Like, if you're going to spend that much money, bro, I'll draw you one for free. Okay, there you go. All right, so that's, that's a good deal. Um, can I just say, though, that having... Okay, we're going to spend this money now anyway, right? If we're going to change it, or not change it, now that we're going to spend the money, should we have it? If you're going to commit the money to it, do a good job of it. Do a good job of it. Would you like to just keep the existing flag, though, having spent the $27 million? No. No. Okay, so you do agree we should change the flag, but you don't think we should spend the money? Yeah. What about Carmel? I want to know, this is sort of Carmel, you know, I've been talking to people about this. Like, we've got the money to be spent. What do you, Carmel, if we're going to spend that money anyway, do you what? love the flag that much? What would, what? Sorry? Should we change the flag if we're going to spend the money anyway? I think we should take the money and spend it somewhere much but more worthwhile. But that's not an option. That's not take an option. Take the money and we're spend it money. somewhere worthwhile. All right, here we go. What about this uh, chap up here? Hello, sir. G'day. Change the flag, keep the flag. Uh, change the flag, but uh, do it on a budget a lot less than 27 million. As the old fella said, I'd have him for, pre for prime minister. Kids, education, that's sort of the priority. You can do it on a lot less than 27 million. Get the kids involved. Do it as a Facebook thing. Perfect. Do it as a Facebook thing. There you go. First country in the world. Do it as a Facebook thing. Wallace. That's not a bad idea, Sarah. What about do it as Facebook? Why does it... I can't understand why it costs $27 million. I just... I mean, you employ people like Peter Dunn, I guess. But why does it cost look, so much? Look, I'm Generation X. I don't understand Facebook, Facebook that much. So, look, you've got to make an informed decision. That's why you've got uh, two referenda. Uh, you've got the first one that uh, asks the question, do you want to change, uh, do you want, which flag do you prefer? And then it okay. goes up against the, the current one.